In this video, we're going to focus on finding equivalent fractions. So in these example problems, we need to find the missing number. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make this fraction equivalent to the previous fraction by finding that missing number. So how do we go about finding it? 5 times what number will give us 20? Or in other words, 20 divided by 5 is equal to what? 20 divided by 5 is 4. So to get to 20 from 5, we need to multiply by 4. And whatever we do to the bottom fraction, we need to do to the top part of the fraction. So we got to multiply the top number by 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and that will give us the equivalent fraction 16 over 20, which is equal to 4 over 5. Now, let's do the same thing for the second example. 21 divided by 7 is 3. So to get 21 from 7, we need to multiply by 3. And let's do the same for the top. 7 times 3 is 21, and 15 times 3 is 15. So this is the answer, 15 over 21. Now for the next example, we're missing the bottom number. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So to get 6 from 2, we got to multiply by 3, which means we need to multiply the denominator by 3 as well. 5, 5 times 3 is 15. So 2 over 5 is equivalent to 6 over 15. Now moving on to the next example, we have 5 over 8 equal 30 over what number? 30 divided by 5 is 6. So to get to 30, we got to multiply 5 by 6. Thus, 8 times 6 is 48. So 30 over 48 is equivalent to 5 over 8. For the sake of practice, let's try two more examples. Go ahead and try this one and this one. So this time, the missing number is on the left side. So these problems might be a little different. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So we got to multiply 6 by 3 to get to 18. What other number times 3 is 42? Or in other words, 42 divided by 3 is what number? 42 divided by 3 is 14. So the equivalent fraction here is 6 over 14. That's equal to 18 over 42. For the next example, we can see that 9 times 4 is 36, or 36 divided by 9 is 4. So we got to multiply the top number by 4 to get to 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7, so that will give us the answer, 7 over 9. So that's a quick and simple way of how you could find equivalent fractions by finding the missing number in the other fraction.